I'm with Mike Hinsey, who is principal of Westerville South High School, and we're going to take a little tour of, of the renovation project. Great. Thanks for coming, everybody. We're walking into the new wing of the building, and up, upstairs here is mostly math. Uh, this is a project-based learning area where students will have some time to work on projects, do research uh, with, with some teachers. We have these interspersed around the classrooms so that under the guidance of a teacher, kids could come out here and you know rehearse a play if we're doing Romeo and Juliet, for example. What a great place to do that. So come on out and we'll look in a math class. When we, when we started preparing this, we, we met with student council and resounding voice of the students that, that they wanted more natural light. Um, South was built a long time ago and, and windows weren't quite as big back then, I guess. So the students got what they asked for. We have floor to ceiling windows right here and we pushed the ceilings up. So in all of the classrooms, in, in this new construction here, we have these really high ceilings. They like the exposed ductwork and beams. And our teachers wanted lots and lots of whiteboards. So one, two, three, four, five, we have these two oversized whiteboards, and then an interactive display case. I'm not even gonna to touch it or I'll break it um, here for our teachers to use. We've got pretty standard student desks. Both our students and our teachers said that these, these were normal, they like the square desks, but they can be moved around a lot easier, and the chairs are a little nicer, a little more comfortable than what we have now. So really, really big space, some built-in storage in the back, and what I like the most is what our students wanted, and that's on these big, huge windows. So we'll walk and just look at another classroom, maybe. So down the hallway, we have wider halls and colors. In the old part of the building, every single hallway is kind of a tan color. And our students and student council told us that they wanted color schemes to each of the wings so that they could know where they were in the building. So they got it. So this is kind of a blue wing. Uh, we've got these open spaces with another skylight up above. So this will pour light in to both the second floor and the first floor of the building. And we've got some office, a teacher prep room here with lots of windows, students like windows. So um, there's gonna be another one of these flexible areas for teachers to use with students, uh, kind of in the middle, just so a more open space. And then we'll look at one more classroom. So another typical classroom here. We had existing windows in this, but luckily we're, we're south facing here and it gets lots of natural light in. So again, lots of chalkboard, or now they're whiteboards for the teachers. Much larger classroom, higher ceilings, and uh, built-in storage, kind of what everybody wanted here at the new wing. So we're really excited about it. It's a space that um, meets up to the standards of the people in the school. So we're, we're really thrilled. With it. So thanks for coming. And Mike, what was this before? This was the auxiliary gym. Um, so just a few years ago, what, a year and a half ago, this was our practice gym. It was for gym classes. We had wrestling practice out here. And this was a temporary, kind of not very good looking wall on Illinois Avenue. So right now you're looking at Illinois Avenue. There was that big, ugly temporary wall and you can see through parts that had holes in it. It was pretty bad. So we put up a nice brick wall on the outside and turned it into 22 different classrooms. Okay, thanks Mike. Thanks a lot.